Welcome to a special edition, field trip edition of the Hortman Show. I'm Steve Algar with the University of Maryland Extension. And we're here in Northern Carroll County um, with Bartlett Tree Experts. And they are going to do a injection of an ash tree, or actually two ash trees, um, with a product called uh, triage that's being used now to protect ash trees against emerald ash borer. If you aren't familiar with emerald ash borer, shame on you, we've been talking about it. This has been the bug in the news, um, starting really back in 2003 here in Maryland was the first detection, but it arrived in the Midwest, I think probably early 2000, 2002, somewhere in there, and has been a big problem out there, and we suspect it will be a pretty large problem here. Um, this particular beetle um, has taken out many, many large street trees throughout the Midwest, um, and it's been tremendously expensive because big trees aren't cheap to take down, especially if they're in a city. Um, now, the, the property we're at is a uh, local forester owns it, Len Rabel, and he understands the value of trees, and many years ago before emerald ash borer showed up, he had, um, he had planted a whole row of ash trees running down his driveway. And as you can see, 30-year-old ash trees are a good-looking tree. It's made a nice tree-lined driveway. And sure enough, back in 2006, emerald ash borer was detected in Prince George's County. Um, they did a uh, remediation. They cleaned up all the ash trees in that area, cut down all the ash trees within that, that one, one um, area in Prince George's County and they left some sentinel trees and sure enough back uh, three years later they had more hits of emerald ash borer and ash trees. Um, the borer itself doesn't really seem to have many natural enemies so it has free range when it infests the tree and that leads to tree death for ash trees at least. It's very specific and only attacks ash trees there's some theories that it may attack another species that's relatively minor here in Maryland, but we're still waiting to see what the information will, will show on that. Um, Wes, with Bartlett Tree Experts, is, is setting up the injections, um, and basically what he's done is he's measured the diameter of the tree and then used that diameter to calculate the number of injection spots and also the amount of this product triage that he's going to be injecting into the tree. Um, the, there are several different treatments you can make for, um, to protect your trees against emerald ash borer. It's relatively difficult to stop an infestation, especially if 50% of your tree has declined. Looking up into the canopy of this tree, they look very healthy. It may not have emerald ash borer, but it's here in the county, or we're relatively certain it's here in the county. We've had detections in the past. Um, and because the tree's um, healthy, um, the Rabels have elected to at least protect their most valuable trees. Um, the process um, is basically this, this drilling into the base of the tree and then inserting some metal ports of some type, right, Wes? Uh, they're called arbor plugs. Yeah, arbor plugs. Um, he, he told me earlier that he's going to drill in about an inch to an inch and a half. They're relatively small holes. He's putting in these, these ports or arbor jets, and then he will hook up um, some plastic tubing with a pressurized cylinder that will then force the chemical into the tree. The beauty of this is you don't have to do a wholesale spraying of the tree with a, a chemical that can drift wherever. And the nice thing is um, ash trees aren't pollinated or they aren't visited by many pollinators. There really aren't many other species that chew on the foliage. Um, and this will give this tree then protection for two years. If you want to find out about insecticide options, um, first, as you can see, this is not something a do-it-yourself homeowner can do using pressurized cylinders. And this is a, a product that isn't available on the shelves. Um, so this is really something that you should be left up to a, a certified professional arborist. There's lots of listings online. Um, but if you want more information on protecting your trees against emerald ash borer, and really, I feel if you need to protect the trees from, from the ash borer, you need to um, 
be proactive and put up a defensive chemical such as this. You can get information from the North Central IPM um, Center. It's found online and basically it's a, um, a fact sheet that lists the insecticide options and it's titled Insecticide Options for Protecting Ash Trees from em Emerald Ash Borers. It's a PDF file, it's very easy to read and very accessible and it will talk about some of the other chemicals that are available. Um, this, uh, this particular one is the chemical that will last the longest at this point. They haven't found one better. Mm -hmm.